Hey guys, Gaming Sandwich here. Just thought I'd show you my new, uh, my variant on the Zephyr deck. I uh, thought I'd kind of do this kind of cool kind of thing. So, if any of you know that I've been doing Zephyr for a while, so here we go, let's go into it. We have the newest monster, Zephyr. He is a Pentium Scale of 5. He is your boss monster of the deck. Pretty much, I kind of refer to him as like the Zephyr God, but you know, or the God. So. When he's in your scale, you can send any Zephyr monster from your deck to your extra deck. So it pretty much sets up your deck very nicely. Uh, his monster effect is you must re summon him by attributing at least three monsters. <laughs> All monsters you control, sorry, three of which must be Zephyr monsters. Once per turn, you can tribute one monster you control to special summon one Zephyr monster from your deck. Really, really good. We are still running the one flame beast just because it special summons itself in the hand of graveyard when the Zephyr is destroyed. Um, Wendy, which adds cards from your extra deck to your hand, which is going to become really, really useful when uh, Link Format comes out. Pelica, which does uh, special summons a monster from your graveyard. The secret one here, which adds a expel trap from your deck to your hand, ideally Zephyr or Yangzing, but we may even Zephyr. Zephraxi makes anything a tuner. The two Talonites, this one destroys face ups, this one destroys face downs. Really, really useful cards. And this is your main lineup of Zephyr Monsters. So. Okay. Uh, for your next ones, we run one Talonite Dinab, just one now, one seems enough, works well. We have your mini Yang Zing engine of Susani and Chi Wen. Both those due to your Yang, Yang Zing effects of being destroyed by battle or card effect, you get special summon one, which is really good. Ideally, you can go for your Zephyr, or you can just summon another one of these two. Uh, this one being a tuner makes it makes a lot of plays viable. Run one Lust Pendulum. One Lust Pendulum is all you've got, but it helps with um, if you don't get Zephyr after, and you can just do other combos with it, which is still really sick. We run two copies of Ghost Ogre. I uh, haven't got Ghost Ash, but Ghost Ogre does just as well. Um, and to be fair, I don't use her as much as I usually do, but she is a good um, negate, good hand trap, and she I prefer her, to be honest. So, just nice because she's a level 3 tuner and light as well. So, and one Electromagnetic Turtle, the tech, the juicy, spicy tech of the deck. Always sending it to the graveyard, always negating that battle phase, always saving my ass. Okay, for the spells, we run free Oracle of Zephyr, your rotor in a field spell. So add any Zephyr monster from your deck to your hand, really, really good. Uh, you're only going to use two out of the three, four effects on this. You don't run fusions and you do not run the loveliness of rituals. So if you special summon an XYZ monster using Zephyr, you can draw a card and discard a card. If you synchro summon, which is what you really usually do, you get to put a monster on top of your deck and stack it for next turn, which is really, really good. Three of the new Zephyr Providence. Providence is amazing. Um, basically, you can add any Zephyr card from your deck to your hand, including Oracle and the Counter Trap, which is coming up. Um, and also any of your monsters, which is really amazing. So basically, that rotor on crack. Um, when this card is in your graveyard, apart from the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card to negate the destruction of a Zephyr card in the field. So, and this says card, so ideally if they twin twist you, your scales, you can banish this and stop them both from being destroyed at the same time. Really, really good. Uh, one emergency teleport because you are running a grand total of eight psychics, so you may as well. Twin twister just gets rid of your spell and trap removal. And part of which is because, in the same principle, you run part of Avarice. If late game, it's a really, really good card. And if like, they just pop everything, you've still got it. It's nice to tech as a one-off. For traps, we run one Bottomless. One Floodgate. You're, you'll see right later on, but I believe these two are the best ones. Floodgate's helped me a lot more with the uh, True King matchup. So, Bottomless does too, but uh, Floodgate's really, really been helpful. Uh, one warning because it's solemn warning and I prefer over scolding just over personal preference. Oh, sorry, or uh, any of the, of the other song cards, just personal preference. Uh, Zephyr Divine Strikes, basically you you could run Solemn Strikes but 
you know, um, it's just easier. It's rotable, it's searchable, and banishing one Zephyr card is not really the end of the world in this deck, so it's just that. Okay, for the extra deck, we have Doolong. Doolong is your playmaker, it's really, really good. You can do lots and lots of things with it, so it's an amazing, amazing card. Adding a Yang Zing for well, scale from your deck to your hand and a special summoning after it leaves the field, really, really good. Uh, Mesphis Horus, negating a card in the field, i.e. any f good evil field spell at the moment, and taking control of their monster just wins games. Uh, Yazi, Yazi with its built-in non-targeting, like the uh, Cosmic Ships, and um, popping the any Yang Zing, just monster just to pop cards in the field, or itself, really, really is good. Uh, Black Rose Moonlight, just bouncing is really, really useful. So a good card in the end. Uh, Ancient Fairy, because you're running field spells, so to gain that extra plus thousand life points is sometimes saves you, and an extra normal someone can come in handy if you really need to do some extra good combos. Uh, clear Wing, because it's Clear Wing and it helps certain matchups. It really is good against uh, uh, Eustace versus True Kings and. He was really struggling to get around Clay Wing, so really helpful. Uh, Luster, because you're running a Pendulum deck, it's easy to make, so enough said. And summoning Luster from the deck then you get by one. Nirvana High Paladin, really, really amazing card. Um, I have used its scale effect to when it when the Pendulum monsters you attack, you get to pretty much like decrease the attack of all their monsters by the attack of that Pendulum monster, so. It's continuous, so when you attack with like a field of five, just decreasing constantly is really, really good. Um, you can special summon it by using best way to do it is using your level seven plus your level three. One of these that's your best way to do it. That's what I find anyway, so works for me. I have done it with Horace, but mainly with those. But adding a spell card from your grave or any card from your grave to your hand is an amazing advantage. And then pretty much doing what I do, usually just halving the life points constantly really, really hurts. And a good, good, solid attack of 3,200 really is great. So for the XYZs, we have one fourteen two non-targeting Zen mains and gaining life points. Shuffling your materials into your deck at the end of the turn and putting this back is really good. It... It's not very nice, I don't overly use it to stall out, but sometimes it just helps if you really need to get a good hand going. Uh, Replicia, because you are running trap holes, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, Luster, because you are running a pendulum based deck, you do have... Sorry, so you do run in the Paladin for the Dracula Slayers for that. And also just tutoring any pendulum monsters you hand is really good. XYZ Rebellion, just because it's one of the best generic rank 4s out there. Um, I prefer it with the Utopia engine because the uh, space is really, really tight. Uh, Beatrice, just because you can set up your plays if you really need to. You can send Providence, you can send Beast, you can send Turl to the Grave, or you can set something up for um, Pelica to summon. Really, really good solid card. Uh, Utopia Beyond, just because making all your opponent's monsters zero and then smacking them with Nirvana High Paladin wins the game, so yeah, brutal. And Photon, basically, Photon Strike Bouncer just burning them for that extra life point damage and negating effects on the field. It's not as great sometimes, but if you play this and they do their true king, you can chain this and negate, so it's one of those, it is there to be forced to be played around. Um, I have some of my lovely tokens, Yugi, Grinder Golem, Sky Blaster, uh, Fiend Sanctuary, and a Phantasm token. All the good tokens. Uh, for the side deck, we run one Vela. One extra Chiwen. Vela just because I like the extra negation, and it's a level 1 tuner. Chiwen because you are running Yang Zings. Flying C, just because... Um, basically zodiacs extra dinab just because i feel like if someone's going to run something that pretty much does spell and traps i'd rather have 
So we actually tell them next time we get around it. Uh, Zephyrath, just because in case they really are screwing with my, like, something I just don't know. Second one just seems alright. Um, his effect is only once per turn, which is really sad, but that's one of those. If you can use, say, you get this and a luster out, this pretty much is really, really good turn one. Uh, reinforce my army because you are running a good solid lot of targets for it. XYZ Encore, just because like Infinity and Zodiac and a load of other stuff, just pretty much and totally awesome if you really run into it. Just it's a just good sort of get out card. Extra twin twisters just cause spell trap removal. Um Quaking Mirror Force and Drowning Mirror Force set face down, face the same effect as full gate and to the deck, just extra to get rid of problems. Uh, two time space because you are running with Felicia and in game two they always think to yourself you've only got two targets so if you use the, run the two targets you have got extras so just always there as a nice solid. Uh, Soul Drain just because I don't like graveyard effects, um, Zodiac, get anything like that. Uh, Masker Restrict, get those true kings out of there, it really helps. And Imperial Order, just because if you can get a good solid board then flip this, you can pretty much win the game. So, yeah. Uh, that's the deck. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Sorry, I haven't done anything in a while. Um, pretty much, I've moved in with my girlfriend now, so it's just pretty much getting everything, gotten everything sorted. So, hopefully you should see some more videos on me. I am working on a couple of decks, so hopefully we should get those sorted soon. So... Yes, this is the Game of Sandwich over now, and I'm sorry I've been away for a while.